right, so we've done the booty pop challenge. We've, uh, and it, it, I can't, it's more than a little offside, don't you think? Yeah, I feel amazing right now. Like my life has changed. I'm a different woman. You are a different man. Me, not so much. I'm wearing what feels to be ladies' underwear that's padded. And uh, now I must say, walking through the office with them, uh, we did like to squeeze the Charmin test, and uh, a number of our staff thought, yeah. hey, this is working for you, buddy. Yeah, we can feel it. So when you watch this, coming, do you feel this? <laughs> Listen to that sound. Again, again. Yeah. No, no pain whatsoever. Your turn. <laughs> Of the booty pop, we had no yeah, idea. Yeah, this is an added bonus. Like, you're almost sound. This is the only one drawback at an office if you're wearing these, you know, and maybe people will go around like, Good job! It would normally sound like that, and yeah. then they get to you. <laughs> and then your cover's <laughs> like blown. Like a pillow. Yeah. Then your cover's blown. You're dead. <laughs> so, here's what we want you to do. Now, you've seen the ridiculousness of it. May I mention spectacular? Spectacular, right here. <laughs> <laughs> we would like you to uh, go to the online poll, the front page of our website, star933.com. Pick Meg or Joel, who you think has the better look in the booty pop. Uh, the loser of said vote will then have to wear the booty pop on top of their clothes for an entire day. Yeah, and we'll have pictures to prove that we did that because hopefully Joel will lose and then I'll have him going to, you know, Tim Hortons, you know, line up. It's not going to be good. It's going to happen. Vote for Joel as often as you'd like at star933.com.